now things have changed and I'm at home much more, we need to be side by side. There's a chance we may get a bit of a snag from time to time, but I've got some help that should be on the money for what lies ahead. It's Da Vinci time. So further to the end of the last video, a little teaser of the uh, solar panel I got, the 100 watt one that arrived just as I was finishing filming that one. Um, I wanted to finish off and show you how I set this particular panel up and connected it to the solar generator and if it actually worked or not. So uh, here goes and enjoy. There we have it, uh, 100 watt monocrystalline uh, black aluminium frame there. So what I'll do now is I'm just going to spin it round and show you what's on the back. So it's time to look at uh, the business end now, which is the uh, back of the panel. So we've got our uh, junction box up here, which the obviously the two cables here, uh, positive and negative, are connected into. Sorry about the background noise, someone's cutting something somewhere. So we have two cables that come out of it, and these are the uh, MC4 connectors. So I'm hoping you can see that, just trying to balance things up a bit. So that's the plus, which is indicated with a plus on there, which is handy as well, hoping that's in focus and also we've got the uh, negative mc4 connector here as well which also shows up as a minus and let's see if i can get a bit closer now so we can show you the uh, details on the back plate let's try and get that up a bit so you can see that there we go so this has got all your information here the fact that it's a 100 watt panel 18.78 uh, volts is the maximum power um, we've got 5.32 amps uh, which is the maximum power current on this and we've got an open circuit voltage of 22.64 so you've got all the other bits and pieces on there as well and it's from um, obviously the company was on the box as well and there's bits you can contact on here so um, obviously the links to this and the cable that I'm just about to use to connect this up to uh, the Anderson port on the uh, solar generator is um, going to be covered in the next bit but the links are down in the description if you want to have a look at those. Right so I've got the uh, cable that I bought as well for this. One thing I've noticed already is this configuration of this Anderson port is the wrong way round. Okay so we've got the MC4 connectors which will connect into the obviously right into the back there. I'm pointing in the right direction right there. And then this will obviously connect into the solar generator. But the problem is, is I might say these are, they need to be side by side. I'm hoping that's in focus. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to flip them around now uh, to make sure that uh, we can get these side by side so they plug straight in. So I'll show you that. So we have to do is with these here, you just slide them up. Actually just push and slide up. They come apart because they've got little grooves on them. Uh, Again, I'm hoping you can see those grooves on them where you can hook them in. And then what we'll do is we'll just slide it back on there. So it just slides back on with the little grooves in it. You have to get one above the other. And just slide it straight back in like that. And then that gives you the side-by-side -side configuration. So again, I'm hoping that's in focus. And then we just slide that back up. And... Hopefully that'll work, and there we have it. So it's ready to go, and uh, plug in, plug into the MC4 connectors, and then get ready to plug straight into the uh, solar generator. Okay, so I've hit a bit of a snag here in the fact that this cable that I bought actually has the uh, connectors around the wrong way. So if you if you like, it's marked up as the negative here. You see the negative or the black one is actually it doesn't match up with the mc4 connectors so what i mean is this one here is the plus but that actually hooks in these two hook in like this that actually hooks into the negative which is the black wire here which also goes to the negative on here so what i'm going to do is obviously because i'm not going to turn these around i just have to remember that these are the opposite way around so on this for my particular wire uh, the, the red is actually negative that then goes into the solar generator and the black is actually the positive so they're the, the other way around so I'm going to hook this one in here as well so this one is marked up as the negative and it's actually going into what is the red and the positive on here so it's even marked as a positive I think you see a little plus and a little 
red ring there. So I'll hook that up. And that means that I'll probably need to flip these around here. So I'm just going to check it out and then I'll come back and show you how I'm just going to flip these around. So as expected, yes, if I was to plug it in the way it is at the moment, which is the right way around, I'd actually be cross wiring it because obviously the red now on here is the, is the uh, negative and the black is positive. So I need to switch these two around, which again is fairly easy to do. So I'll take this out as I did before. That's nice and tight. So again, what we do is we slide them up because they've got little grooves on them. That's what Anderson ports do. And then we just flip them round. And then what we do is just slide that back on there. There we have it. So that's slid on there perfectly. And then just put the protective cover back over. ready to uh, test in the solar generator. Okay, so I've moved around to the side too, so I don't uh, obstruct the panel so it gets full sun. So it's uh, got the uh, solar generator here, it's time to plug in the big moment. And I hope you can see that has nothing happened again. So I think we've got our problem again with the uh, voltage. So I'm gonna look at that right now. So it's uh, time to uh, check the voltage, got the trusty meter here just to see if we've got the same issue with the solar generator where the voltage is too high at start up. So I've got to remember to uh, connect this up the other way round, which seems counterintuitive. So let's put the red in the black and then the black in the red. Let's see what kind of voltage this is pulling. Let's get that in there. So in full sunlight. Hoping you can see that's in focus. We've got 21.3 volts. So let's plug that straight in now. Just again, just to double check. So again, nothing happened. The startup voltage, I think, is too high, which as you see in the previous video, this battery seems to like somewhere between 19 and 20 and a half volts to start. Hoping this might jump into life, so let's plug it in. And there we go. It's actually started up. Hoping you can see that. Is that in focus? And we are charging at, let's just see what we've got on there. And we're charging at 55 watts. That's amazing. See if we can see if we can get any more out of that. Let's tip it up a bit. It's still at 55 watts. That's amazing. So that must be close to its limit. Just going over to the specs now. So even though it's a 100 watt panel, um, the battery is limiting itself through the MPPT circuit. But that is amazing. So we might be able to get a few more watts closer to 60 out of that. I'll keep testing. So it's a successful test. So the ultimate question is, is off-grid working from home a possibility now in the, the new world as it is? And uh, what I'll do is just go through and show you what each of these panels uh, generates and uh, charges in what terms on the solar generator. So let's start with the long termer and the all power 60 watts uh, foldable solar. Um, what I'm going to do now is just show you the uh, amps as it is when it's flat and then I'm just going to move it into a, a better almost 45 degree angle so it's 90 degrees to the sun. So at the moment we are, I'm hoping you can see that, running at 2.14 amps. So let's see if we can bring that up. I'm hoping you can see that on there. That's now 2.47 amps, almost two and a half amps, getting it into the right position with the sun. And it is obviously still spring, you know, about 2.51 amps. And it's still spring, and there is a little bit of high level cloud today. Okay, so we're plugged in now, um, getting 32 uh, watts on here at the moment. 
So move that into a better position to make the most of the sun. And let's see what we go up to. I've had 43 out of this before. So again, with a high level cloud today, that's looking like, I'm hoping you can see that. I'll bring it in a bit closer. That's 39 watts. Brilliant. So some of the high level cloud has uh, moved a bit and I've repositioned the panel. And I'm not sure if you can see that, but we are getting, I'm hoping that's visible, 57 watts. So not far off of the USB-C PD charging directly from solar. And I think it is limited because of the uh, max 3.2 amp current load on this circuit. But that is amazing. That really is uh, working from home, off grid, sorted. Over the last week, I've seen around 57 or 58 watts has been the norm. When the sun's been out, it's been fairly clear, which is great because when you switch on the AC invert a bit, you lose about six or seven watts. So I've probably got about a net of 50 watts there. So anything that I plug into, if it is less than that 50 watts, it means the battery continues to charge or stays fully charged. And if you go over that, it just means the battery takes longer to discharge so effectively you're buying time so if you're using something or the equipment that you're using adds up to about 100 watts you're only actually using 50 watts out of the battery because the solar is just topping it up so for me it means that sort of semi off grid working has been working perfectly so that's the working from home element covered and again everyone will have different needs and requirements but for me it's working really well and what we're going to do on this channel is going to do some more of the tests as we did with the 288 watt hour version and just show you what this battery can do what it does and doesn't work with push it to a little bit further than we should do just to see when it says no i've had enough so we're going to do some more of those videos over the next month or two and as the weather improves and the fact that we've got that solar going straight into the battery and just see how far we can push it we hope you liked our video all the links you'll need will be in the description below please like share subscribe and hit the bell icon and stay tuned to dad vinci